Invincible Season 1 highlights the strength of Omni-Man, showcasing his indestructibility, but Invincible Season 2 introduces a way that Omni-Man can be defeated? Omni-Man is from planet Viltrum, which holds an imperialistic race of super beings known as Viltrumites. He worked with the Viltrumite military in their effort to conquer worlds, bringing them into their empire. In an effort to bring efficiency to their mission, the officers were spread throughout the galaxy to weaken planets, making them easier to take over. However, once Omni-Man begins taking over the planet, it seems that he can't be defeated, as even his own son, Mark Grayson, who shares his Viltrumite lineage and abilities, is even powerless to defeat him. However, the post credit scene of Invincible Season 2 Episode 2 reveals a way to defeat Omni-Man, adding a new layer to the story. In the post credits, Mark is seen restrained in the GDA, who are working to gain information on how to defeat his kind. Angstrom Levy shows up to talk to Mark, offering him his help in return for information. Mark then explains that the GDA ambushed Omni-Man with experimental quantum bombs. These devastating bombs not only took out most of Europe, but also were able to defeat Omni-Man. This revelation challenges the notion of Omni-Man's invincibility and shows that he can be stopped. This detail about the quantum bombs was not part of the Invincible comics, but it does set up Angstrom Levy's character and Angstrom's quest to conquer and defeat Mark. Although Viltrumite skin is incredibly resilient due to rapid healing, intense heat from the sun or boiling plasma can weaken and potentially kill them. It's plausible that the experimental quantum bomb that Mark speaks about could generate sufficient heat to defeat Viltrumites. In the case of Omni-Man, a unique weakness is his attachment to his son. He stands by his son instead of completing the mission of their race. Only time will tell if this human quality remains a weakness or a showcase of what makes humanity special amongst the stars.